Hello guys, my name is Victoria Pavla, I'm the Photoshop artist. Yesterday I shared with you my image I created in a Photoshop CC and many of you asked me if I can record a video how I created this image. So guys, sure, now I will record a video how I created this image with you. So guys, let's start. As you can see, I have opened my Adobe Photoshop CC and here I have opened my Creative Cloud library. Here I have all my images I downloaded and licensed from Adobe Stock. Today I will be using my images I licensed from Adobe Stock. You can use any images you like. So to open your assets from Creative Cloud library as a separate um, document, double click on this asset. Let me scroll down. This is my image I would like to use. So double click on this image and voila. I uh, have opened this image as separate document. Now I would like to add another document, another image. So I will scroll down my library and here I have another image I would like to use. Now. I will add this image into my uh, document. I will click on this image and I will drag this image into my document. I will reposition it. I will resize it if I will need and I need it. And after I satisfied with everything, I will click OK to accept this uh, layer. So now I have two layers and my first layer, my background layer is locked. To unlock your layer, simply click on la lock icon and voila, your layer is unlocked. I will click and highlight my top layer and I will restock my layers. I will bring my top layer under my um, main subject layer. What I will do, I will select my top layer. Now I would like to isolate my main subject of its background. I will click and select quick selection tool and here guys I have select subject button. This is new feature in Adobe Photoshop CC 2018. I love this feature. Uh, I will simply click on select subject button and voila. Photoshop selected my main subject for me. What I will do guys, I will click on select and mask button which is next to my select subject button and I will be redirected to select and mask workspace. And here, guys, I can correct my selection. What I will do, I will switch to my a simple brush tool with um, um, plus icon selected and I will bring back part of my image I previously erased or painted out. It's up to you. And I will bring back all details just like that. And by the way, guys, I'm um, in my um, onion skin view mode. I love onion skin view, view mode because if I will move transparency slider all the way to the left, I will bring back my background. If I will bring a move transparency slider all the way to the right, I will remove my background completely. So what I will do, I will um, move my transparency slider somewhere in the middle and I will continue correcting my uh, selection. So I'm bringing back part of my uh, main subject uh, details just like that here. If you painted uh, out more than you wanted, simply switch to subtract icon, uh, click on minus uh, icon and paint out a part of your uh, selection. I will bring, um, I will click on a plus sign again and I will bring back some parts of my um, main subject just like that. And I'm pretty much happy with my selection. What I will do guys, uh, um, I will uh, move transparency slider all the way uh, to the right and I will switch to my um, refine edge brush tool and I will paint over my uh, edges just like that and here and guys I'm pretty much satisfied if you want to um, 
fix something if you would like to improve your selection in any way jump uh, simply switch between all tools in select and mask a workspace and you will be, be you will be able to correct uh, all um, mistakes if you have if you made any mistake so it's not critical no stress at all it's easy and uh, right now um, masking process workflow in Adobe Photoshop CC is very enjoyable so right right now I'm satisfied with everything now let's talk about our output um, option as usual I'm setting up I'm setting up output to a new layer with layer mask and I will click OK as you can see right now I have new layer uh, with um, a layer mask if I would like to be back to my select and mask workspace to adjust something I will double click on my um, layer mask and voila I will be redirected back to select and mask workspace now guys I will delete my original main subject layer I don't need this layer anymore yes please delete it and I have highlighted my background layer I will copy this layer just like that copy deselect you can copy uh, select and copy your um, layer in Photoshop in many ways I will be back to my uh, main subject uh, layer with a uh, layer mask I will click and hold command key and I will click on a uh, masking icon so right now I have selected my uh, main subject I will go to edit paste special paste into and voila now guys I will switch to move tool and I will uh, change blending mode for my layer let's see maybe multiply I love multiply darken yes also I will bring down opacity of this layer just like that and voila guys pretty much um, we have um, everything in focus we have in focus our main subject with all details we have a very beautiful background and I would like just to specify um, a headpiece of my main subject so I will click on my top layer on um, masking icon layer mask icon I will switch to my simple brush tool with black color and I will paint over my um, main subject um, headpiece just like that I would like to make this piece in focus so I would like to see this um, uh, head um, piece shiny and um, with uh, all details in the focus just like that I will bring size for my brush down and just like that beautiful right now guys what I will do let me uh, correct small details and here just like that it's very important and you will see later on why just like that perfect I love it love it love it now guys I will hide my background layer and I will merge visible layers merge visible just like that and I will bring back my background layer now I will bring another document another image into my document so let me scroll here I have another uh, image I would like to use so I will select my background layer I will click on my third image I would like to work with and I will bring this image into my document click OK to accept this layer I will rasterize this layer right click rasterize a layer I will switch to uh, background eraser a magic eraser tool and I will click on white background so right now I have removed a white background I will reposition this uh, layer using free transform tool I will resize it I will make it slightly bigger just like that click OK and I will uh, change blending mode for uh, this layer let's see what blending mode I would like to use overlay yes overlay overlay uh, blending mode it exactly what I was looking for I will duplicate this layer I will duplicate my rock layer 
And because I'm still high highlighting my move tool, I will move my second rock somewhere um, behind my uh, main subject, just like that. Perfect, right? Right now we have texture, right now we have story, right, uh, right now we have very nice composition. Um, what I will do now, guys, I will uh, merge all visible layers. You have two ways to merge your um, uh, layers. If you will click merge visible layer, you will merge all visible layers. And if you have hidden uh, layers, uh, they will stay um, not merged, but they will stay in your document. So if you will save your document in this way, uh, definitely you will increase the size of your document. I prefer if I'm sure this is what I want, if I'm sure that I will merge my um, document and I will be not sorry about it, I will click on flatten image and voila in this way if i if i will have any hidden layer or layers photoshop will ask me do you like to re delete all hidden layers and if i will say yes photoshop automatically will remove all hidden layers so i will not increase the size of my document now i will uh, duplicate my layer i will go to filter i will go to camera raw filter and here I will play with few options. First of all, I will change exposure, maybe slightly down. I will increase contrast and I will increase highlights and I will click OK. So this is my um, image after uh, camera roll filter. Let me show you before and after. This is before camera roll. This is after. What I will do, guys, now I will duplicate my layer one more time, just in case. I will switch to Dutch tool, arrange mid-tones, um, exposure about probably 2%, 2 and I will paint over my headpiece to bring my headpiece on point. I will not bring... Uh, to life all details so i will just i will paint over highlights just like that just like that and guys if you notice my exposure um uh, value is two percent it's more than enough be careful with a dutch tool with um exposure um value uh, if you will bring exposure value um even about seven percent uh, in many cases is too much so be careful start with one percent believe me one percent in many cases are more than enough is more than enough so just like that now i would like to bring back part of her eyes and in this case i will increase exposure to 14 and i will paint over part of her eyes and another eye just like that and i'm pretty much happy with what i'm having now now guys i will bring exposure down to one percent and i will paint over her uh, neck to bring all details back to life just like that guys i can um make big difference so i can bring um, exposure value up about 20 percent 30 percent and everything will be like oh yeah as you can see i um applied few changes i uh, i can do anything in photoshop this is not a point of working uh, with photoshop photoshop uh great application photoshop is amazing application so you can do anything you want you can create a real real um a uh, beautiful uh, piece of art so don't try to be i can do anything you can uh, when i will finish my uh, workflow you will see big difference between uh, before and after this is not the point of this is not the purpose of photoshop photoshop helps you to create a very beautiful piece of art so this is my um, a few accents I brought back. Let me show before and after. This is before. This is after. This is uh, after our camera roll. And this is after. So as you can see, I have brought back many uh, details. And now 
I will delete all layers except my top layer and I will go to adjustment. I will click on a color lookup and I will click on a full colors look. Because I applied adjustments as separate a layer, I will bring down opacity of this layer. I can uh, manipulate, I can adjust my adjustment layer at any time because I applied adjustment as a separate layer. This is very important, guys. So I will bring down opacity. This is without adjustment layer. This is with just slightly. And I will click on adjustment again. I will click on um, curves. And I will adjust few details just like that and voila now I will merge my document flatten image and voila so guys this is what I wanted to share with you oh yes I forgot one last step I will duplicate my layer I will go to my filter I will go to my lens flare you can use any lens type you want I will use probably one of five no 35 millimeter prime. I will position my lens flare uh, in the middle of her um, headpiece just like that. I will decrease brightness about 64 and I will click OK. I like what I have right now but, but I don't like lens flare in the bottom of my image. What I will do? I will click add a layer mask. I will switch to a gradient tool with a black to a transparency and I will paint out top of my uh, bottom of my top layer just like that and voila and let me show before lens flare and after this is before and this is after now I can merge my layers fl flatten image and voila now my image is done so guys now this is all what i wanted to share with you if you have any questions guys just ask again and again and again i will repeat myself i will be more than happy to answer to any of your questions thank you for being with me and i will see you later on do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel thank you guys see you later bye